desire. Muriel, lights are flame in me. Where there's Muriel smoke, there's fire. Where there's Muriel smoke, there's fire. Friday night is family night on ABC. First join the Brady Bunch. Alice and Greg and Carol and Mike, Marcia and Jan and Cindy and Peter and Bobby and Tiger. What is it? Our house with eight bedrooms. And then spend some time with Manny and the Professor and Butch and Hal and Prudence and Waldo. What do you think about that, Dad? Well, I think that I'd rather not think about it. And then it's the Partridge family. Shirley and Keith. Uh -huh. Danny and Laurie. Uh -huh. Chris and Tracy. Uh -huh. And Reuben. You are making me a nervous wreck. Remember, Friday night is family night with Alice and Greg and Shirley and Hal and Waldo. Tonight we have some wonderful new s and H gifts to show you. Some so brand new, I'll bet you've never even heard of them. Come on, I'll show you. Remember, with s and Green Stamps, you get a selection of exclusive gifts offered by no other stamp plant. The finest quality gifts. And more gift value, because s and H Green Stamps are America's most valuable and most reliable stamps. Now tonight, the very latest ideas in portable, cordless electric gifts. Look here, this portable TV set, no wires, operates efficiently anywhere on battery. Shall we try it? All yours with S&H Green Staff. And then I want you to see these beauties. This is a battery-powered electric grill, and this is an electric hedge trimmer. No wires, all battery. And for the ladies, this is Ultra Ultra. A battery-operated manicure set, if you please. And I'll borrow that later, too. <laughs> Here, Dad, is your electric shaver, battery power. Of course, we have two little shavers here. Let me see something. Now, oh, that's a little soon for you, but your dad will love that. <laughs> here is joy for the whole family. A battery-powered tape recorder. And listen. Yours with s and H Green Staff. Uh -huh. Well, as a matter of fact, all of these wonderful products for tomorrow are yours today with s and H Green Staff. You drop in at your own s and H Green Staff Center and see why so many women, like Mrs. Kirkendall here, Prefer S and H Green Stamps over all others. S and H Green Stamps, America's most valuable stamp. S and H Green Stamps catalog of the year. Tonight's catalog of the year features some wonderful gifts for 1963. New ideas for your kitchen. So let's furnish a kitchen with S&H Green Stamps. Boys, if you please. Now remember, S&H gives you a selection of exclusive gifts offered by no other stamp plan. With S&H, you get quality gifts, the finest name brands. And you get more gift value because S&H Green Stamps are America's most valuable stamps. Are we ready? Oh, what a beautiful kitchen. Let's see now, folk. Oh, we'll need some help. Ah. <laughs> now, let me show you this wonderful contrivance here, which automatically heat seals your plastic bags for food storage. Wonderful? And you remember how delicious homemade ice cream is. Is it all finished, Nancy? All electrically done. Uh oh, boy. Mmm, delicious. Save some of that for me. This is a Salton add-on warming tray. And how would you like to have your own home ground coffee? And this Ronson can do. It serves as a can opener, a whipper, a beater, and a knife sharpener. All yours for S and H Green Stamps. It's no wonder that so many smart women like Mrs. Stoner save S and H Green Stamps, and merchants like Jerry Speck give them. Do your shopping where you get low thrifty prices and S and H Green Stamps, America's most valuable stamps. Muriel, turn you on. That is my desire. Muriel, lights of 
flame in me Where there's Muriel smoke, there's fire Where there's Muriel smoke, there's fire is exciting sound and Sanyo tape recorders let you enjoy the better life. Everything you want in tape recorders, take the music with you or tape it wherever you are. Sanyo has all the features for great sound. I said that's right. Get it at Highland. Here comes your present. There you are. Happy birthday. Big spender. Oh, you just be Belle. Good-looking pig. I've seen better. With a one-step, you can see your pictures before the candles go out. Cake looks great. Yeah, but don't cut it. What? It's rented. Rented? Well, rent yourself another pig. And give me my picture. Polaroid means fun. With a one-step. Time. The truest test of any product is how it performs over time. Now, this. Magnavox Star System Color Television. Designed for the highest reliability in Magnavox history. Design concepts, technology, advanced manufacturing systems for a picture as reliable as it is bright and clear. Magnavox. The brightest ideas in the world are here. Today. John Wayne hosts the biggest special of the year. Oh, boy. With Suzanne Summers, Bob Hope, Cindy Williams and Penny Marshall, Michael Landon, James Stewart, Cheryl Ladd, Elizabeth Taylor, Jimmy Walker, Henry Winkler, Lucille Ball, and John Ritter. GE's All-Star Anniversary. Friday night on ABC. Friday, say happy birthday to Charlie Brown. He's going to be 30 this year. Join Charles Schultz, Phyllis George, and the whole gang for the ultimate birthday bash. Then on Monday, Charlie Brown finally meets his dream girl. On at your first kiss, Charlie Brown. Two special Charlie Brown evenings, Friday and Monday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. An all-new peanut special with Snoopy the Sophisticate as a sled dog? What a nightmare, Charlie Brown. Then, Bugs Bunny's a Connecticut rabbit in King Arthur's court. Right after What a Nightmare, Charlie Brown, Thursday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. It's truly a fabulous February on CBS. Tonight, we've celebrated 25 years of great entertainment. Now, get ready for the next 25 with the specials on ABC. The music, the laughter, the excitement, the brightest stars in a season of special events. Singer, dancer, actor Ben Vereen is a special all by himself. And his friends Lou Gossett and Cheryl Ladd. You've got a night to remember. I get excited just thinking about it. That man from the Rocky Mountains goes down under with guests Robbie Benson, Susan St. James, Lee Marvin, and international recording sensation Debbie Boone. It's a musical tour of the beauty and majesty of Australia with John Denver. Barry Manilow is an original performer, songwriter, Grammy and Emmy winner. He takes on the legend Ray Charles in the second Barry Manilow special. The Cramdens and the Nortons are in for a real shock. That's hard to believe. The Great One and his court are back for another holiday special, the Honeymooners Valentine Show. For 25 years, we've been the very special one to turn to. For the next 25, we'll still be the one for the specials on ABC. Kojak. Anybody been casing the joint lately? Call the bomb squad. Mm, well, who, what, where? I'm paid to think ugly. Get down! This is murder. Don't bet too much that I'm not gonna get anywhere, okay? Now, what's your theory, Sherlock? I want a big tip. I got him. Telly Savalas is Kojak. 
See Kojak Sunday night at 7.30 on TV5. I've been working all day. Oh. Where have you been? I was out in the neighborhood. Don't you remember the boss came in and said, get out and make some calls or something? Yeah, I remember, but he didn't mean for you to spend the whole day. Well, oh. how many calls did you make? One. You spent the whole day with one customer? But what a customer she's going to be. Oh, <laughs> you out piffling away your time. I don't recall saying I was piffling. Well, you were, you were wasting There's your... There's nothing the matter with meeting a nice young lady. Oh, Dick, you don't have to spend your time in this town trying to meet girls. Well, there's four girls to every guy here. There's what? There's four to one. Well, some sneak's going out with eight girls, because I'm not doing too good. Dick, you're never going to be a good driveway salesman. I could be a jobber. Huh? Look, don't louse us up with this customer. No. Let me do all the talking. You're going to... All you do, clean the glass. Clean the glass? All right. Right. Morning, sir. Fill it up with flight fuel. Yeah. Good morning, sir. My good. <laughs> you. Sheesh. Hey. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, for well, that was a mistake. I, I didn't know. What am I going to do with you? Ugh. Why don't you get the boss to recommend me for district salesman? I could do that. Oh, I know. I could. I could. Yeah. Patty Duke, Barbara Parkins, and Sharon Tate in the steaming bestseller, Valley of the Dolls. Tomorrow night, 11.45. See Bobby Thompson's famous Homer, the first four-minute mile, and other great sports thrills with Bud Palmer on The Big Moment. Tonight on NBC Television. It sounds like you've accidentally invented a thermal chemical energy source. A scientific wonder becomes a nightmare. Someone's walking around. With enough explosive to turn the city into a pancake. A power that could mark the beginning of the end for the $6 million man. is in danger as a killer calls out to her for help. Days of Our Lives heats up your summer. On Ryan's Hope. I applied to the police academy and I've been accepted. This isn't something I've just jumped into, Joe. I've thought about it for a long time Yeah, you've now. thought about it ever since you found out the finale was in trouble and you couldn't help him. And on the edge of night. Why don't you go shopping? <laughs> that usually makes you happy. Go buy something useless and expensive. Here, maybe your last chance. Step one in the plot to kill Raven. Ryan's Hope, The Edge of Night. Weekdays. Today on Search for Tomorrow. All right, tell me. What is it? Whatever it was that caused those burns. It's done an awful lot of damage. Your eyes are so swollen, I still can't tell exactly how much. And you think it's serious, don't you? Very serious. Search for Tomorrow, 12.30, 11.30, Central and Pacific. Engine knock on regular unleaded. Get smoother sound and performance with Texaco's highest octane. Texaco's super unleaded helps knock out the knocks. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Americans will be in for hard times for the next few months. That assessment today from President Reagan 
who told newsmen at the White House that the nation needs to stiffen its spine and not throw in the towel on his government spending cuts. A high-ranking Israeli official has told CBS News that the Reagan administration has asked Israel to stop surveillance flights such as the one yesterday over Saudi Arabia. Israel reportedly refused. And the space shuttle astronauts arrived at Cape Canaveral today, ready to try again. And NASA is saying last week's hitch cost the taxpayers nearly $2 million. Liftoff is now set for Thursday morning. Stay tuned. Imagine almost everything a stockbroker has to know at the touch of a button. She. No, GTE. I'm Bernard Goldberg. More news later on this CBS station. This is CBS. One look at Natalie Wood's hands, and you see it. She's discovered new Rain Tree hand and body lotion. If I were you, new Rain Tree's the last hand lotion I'd ever try. It's that good, and it's that greaseless. Rain Tree adds natural protein powder. It gets the greasy feel out, puts the softness in. Softness your skin absorbs instantly. New Rain Tree hand and body lotion with protein. Rain Tree may be the last hand lotion you ever try. It's that good. And it's that greaseless. You've got him on complete life support. Was he dead? Jim. Come on, Bones, what's the mystery? His brain is gone. What did you do with Spock's brain? Brain and brain! What is brain? <laughs> This fellow is keeping us from our property. Go away. You must not take the controller away. We will all die. Star Trek, 6 p.m. Monday on Channel 29. Nerves, there are a million of them. What am I supposed to do? I can't remember. He's dying and I can't stop it. Captain's log, star date 3287.2. The course of mass insanity we have tracked across the galaxy seems to have already touched Deneva. Ah, they're here! They're here! You have to tell us what happened to him. Things. Horrible things. Don't let them go any further. Ah. I am a Vulcan. There's no pain. I'm also quite blind. On the next episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Indications of what humans would call a wild party? The crew investigates a contaminated research vessel. They're all dead. Where they catch a strange disease. Are you okay? I seem to be burning up inside. This disorder has unusual side effects. You know what the infection is? It is definitely like alcohol intoxication. Oh. One by one, the Starfleet falls victim. Riker here. Sir. I regret to inform you that the captain appears to be infected. And command of the ship falls into the wrong hands. Wesley! Now, as the search for a cure goes on, they face an even greater danger. What we're seeing, sir, is a huge chunk of the star's surface blown away, heading for us. The crew races against time. If I don't get the command computer back online soon, we'll all be dead. To save the Enterprise from disaster. We're not going to make it, Captain. On Star Trek The Next Generation. Admiral, I'm receiving hit. <laughs> uh, Ready to engage computer, Admiral. <clears throat> Sorry. Ready to engage voice? Yeah. Action. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get this right. Admiral, I am receiving hail. Keep going, keep going. All right. Let's do our job and get out of here. Our own world is waiting for us to save it. <laughs> oh, God. That's 
just wondering how to save that. Admiral, I am receiving hailstorms. <laughs> Get your hand off my leg. <laughs> Say something <laughs> profoundly. On behalf of all of us, Mr. President, I've been authorized to plead not guilty. On the other hand, they have also authorized me to plead guilty. Now, I am confused. That's good. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. <laughs> Ask him the question again. I like that. That was a good answer, Bill. Ask him the question again. That's good stuff. Is this a goodie reel or a Go. Hang on a second. Let me recapture my mood, would you? No. Uh, no. <laughs> that was great. Do it again. <clears throat> a second. All right, grim it up. Grim it up. I'm trying. Did she say weirdo? Oh, it's a rubbery, plastic little monster thing that's in the vending machines. No, you've got three weirdos at home. I want a red one. You've got to get a lot of stuff you're cooking tonight, right? Yes, yeah, Spanish dinner. Gaspacho and paella, if I can find all the ingredients. Come on, Missy. No, I want to go with Joe. Go. You don't hurt my feelings. I know what you're after. You twist it, Joan. It's green. Like the grass, like the trees, like Frankenstein's monster. I want a red one. Who ever heard of a red weirdo? Come on, let's go. What are you getting? Oh, I'm getting lots of things. I'm getting onions and peppers and tomatoes and uh, lobster, clams, mussels. I hate fish. Spanish sausage. What's that? Oh, it's meat in a casing like a, like a hot dog, only Spanish. Meat like roast beef? Yes, meat that comes from cows and pigs. Cows and pigs? Where do you think meat comes from? The supermarket. Where do you think milk comes from? The supermarket. You think everything comes from the supermarket? No, not fish. Fish comes from the sea. Where do you think you come from? Never mind. Don't answer. Just eat your weirdo. Let's carry on. As a little girl, we used to say, God. Where does the grass come from? God. Veal cutlets? God. Rhubarb? Oh, no. Not rhubarb. Well, the supermarket is a remarkable place, if you stop to think about it. You take it for granted, it will pretty much have whatever you want, and as a matter of fact, it pretty much does. To my young friend, it's that great big cupboard in the sky. From my older friends, I know it's a big professional business that by 1980 will be bringing up over $100 billion a year.